Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over 1 Kings 8, verse 54 through 61. The title of this section is Solomon's Benediction. Um, and before reading this, I didn't know what a benediction was. So um, I'm going to read you guys a definition of what a benediction is. It's, it's the utterance or bestowing of a blessing, especially at the end of a religious service. So like if a pastor or something was ever to say, um, have a great day, guys. Bless you guys. Um, I hope God is in your life. Um, that is like what a benediction is. And before this um, passage, um, Solomon is basically saying he's asking for blessings from God and saying that like the temple is ours and um, may your like, can your um, spirit come in here? And that is what a supplic uh, is a supplication and at the act of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly and so that's what solomon is doing before and that is like the context before we get into this these verses um 54 through 61 is um solomon is asking god to be there and be with them verses 60 and 61 say so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the lord is god and that there is no other and may your hearts be fully committed to the Lord our God, to live by his decrees and to obey his commands as at this time. Here, King Solomon wanted Israel to impact other nations. He wanted the surrounding countries to know God through the nation of Israel. Solomon was not just praying for his country's sake, he was praying for the sake of other countries as well. In the same way, I challenge you, next time you pray, Remember to ask God help you be someone that leads others to Him, so that other people may come to know God as their true and only Savior through you. Overall, in this section, I came up with this idea that basically asking God ahead of time that um, He will turn our hearts to Him and that we will follow Him is kind of like preheating the oven, right? Ahead of time, you're doing something so that when the time is right or when the time comes when you're not going to want to follow God, that prayer that you prayed a few weeks before, a few days before, could be answered and you're going to turn to God faster instead of just trying to fulfill your life with all the things that really won't satisfy you. So remember guys, preheat the oven, pray ahead of time, and ask God to change your heart to follow him. Mm -hmm.